friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. Today, I'm really excited to do this video. I really enjoy watching these kinds of videos. We're gonna be chatting about the most beautiful books that I own. <laughs> Alexa, tell me I'm stunning. This was hard because I, I just love so many different covers. Like I just love so many different books, so many different covers. It was really hard to whittle this down. Well, I haven't really whittled it down. I've got a lot of books to show you. But yeah, we're just gonna be chatting about my most beautiful books. I really enjoy having beautiful editions of stuff. There's definitely some kind of collections of things that I want to continue to collect more. And I feel like collecting books and reading books are two separate hobbies, and we all need to accept that. <laughs> Delusion. <laughs> Convince yourself. Actually, before I show you any, I just want to quickly mention, I do have three of the Penguin Clothbound editions, which are some of my favourite books ever. I have it in Sherlock Holmes, Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, and Little Women. And that's definitely a collection that, like, when I'm older and stuff. That's definitely a collection I want to collect, but they are all wrapped up. I, I have, if you don't know, I have a series called Wrapped Up where I have wrapped up some of my books and I unwrap them and read them. So I can't show you them. But yeah, let's just get into it. I've got a lot of books to talk about. So probably, you know, two of my most loved books are my Erin Morgenstern books. Firstly, we have got The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. So this is, I believe, like the special edition that Waterstones did. Both of these are Waterstones special editions, I think. And I just love this cover. And then you turn to the spine and it's got that pattern on it. And then you turn to the back, and it's got this gorgeous, like, multicolour pattern on it. And then on the sprayed edges, it's got a key a bee and a sword. And then also without the dust jacket, it's this beautiful blue with this foiling of the key, the sword and the bee, which are like key motifs in The Starless Sea by Erin Morgenstern. This is probably like one of my favorite bookish editions of anything ever. She's an icon, she's a legend, and she is the moment. Now come on now. Also the kind of chapter illustrations and everything, the way the book is laid out, it's just beautiful. This is why this book is at the center of one of my bookshelves because I just love it so, so much. It's so pretty, I love, oh, I just love it so much. And I also really, really love my edition of The Night Circus. I believe this is the Waterstone Special Edition as well. This one has this beautiful design on the front cover. I love like this, I think this kind of ornate illustration style, you'll see a lot through some of my favorite books. This kind of like, I don't know how I would describe it, but this, yeah, really detailed ornate illustration in this kind of like almost uh, Victorian or vintage-y. I don't know how, what actual word you'd use to describe it, but this is definitely one of my favorite styles and you'll see that replicated through a lot of my favorite books. The edges are sprayed edges. And then I also love on the inside of this, there's some really cool pages in terms of illustration, like with this as well. Like I think that really adds something to it. 10 out of 10, 10 out of 10. Yep, yep. I love both of my Erin Morgenstern books. Erin Morgenstern is one of my favorite authors. These are both five stars and I just cherish them and, and love them so much. <laughs> okay, next, I haven't actually read either of these yet. This is all a mix of books I have and haven't read. I'm gonna kind of show you stuff that is grouped in collections, so either series or um, similar authors and stuff or, you know, yeah, collections and stuff first and then we'll get into like individual books that I like. These two, Midwinter Murder and The Mystery of the Blue Chain by Agatha Christie are both these cloth bound hardcover special editions that HarperCollins have been doing of some of Agatha Christie's books. This is definitely a collection that I want to collect because I think they're just such gorgeous covers. The Mystery of the Blue Chain, I think this is like one of my favorite books that I own. I love the, the orange and the blue together and the gold foil. I also love on the inside, it's got this beautiful illustration that kind of like continues the cover on and I just think it's so gorgeous. I just I just absolutely love how this cover looks. I just think it's this book is just so stunning. And then I also really love the Midwinter Murder one. Um, similarly on the inside, it has this kind of like snowflake design. So I really like that they all have something on the inside of the cover. And yeah, I just love, I love cloth bound. I love cloth bound books. I think all books should be cloth bound. No, it's true. No, oh, it's true. I just really love the foil on these and like 
how vintagey they look. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous. So I can't wait to have more um, in this collection. And then I feel like some of the books I get complimented on the most are my collector's editions of Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom by Lee Bardugo. You can get these pretty pretty easily they, they're sold from waterstones and stuff but i think they are so stunning with again cloth bound foil we're seeing a pattern <laughs> they also have sprayed edges as well i love like all the motifs and the hidden meanings on these covers and i also now have the fairy loot edition of shadow and bone which matches these ones which i absolutely love that they match oh look at them all together they're so shiny shiny <laughs> Oh, they're so beautiful. Yeah, this is a fairly Loot edition of Shadow and Bone. It also has these gorgeous sprayed edges as well. And yeah, you can just tell I love cloth bound foil. That's like my thing. Am I cordy? Like I just think these books are so so gorgeous. I don't understand if you're in the UK why you wouldn't just pay a little bit extra to have these instead of the other covers, which I think are kind of ugly, not gonna lie. Uh, <laughs> now the next books, I feel like I may be biased. <laughs> because it is one of my favorite series, but as I said, it has that kind of vintagey illustration style that I love. So my favorite series ever, we know. The Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter by Theodora Goss. Then we have European Travel for the Monstrous Gentlewoman and the Sinister Mystery of the Mesmerizing Girl. I just love these covers. I love the lettering on them. Oh my God, aren't they just so pretty? I think the color schemes are amazing, the vibes. Again, all of this ornate illustration with like hidden meanings to what happens in the story on them. I also really like just little things like the chapter headers in these books. I think it just adds to the story. I'm so happy I own these all. I just think they're so pretty. These are like some of the only books in this series, I have both the first and the third face out on my bookshelf. That is so rare. That you, That's how you know I love these covers so much. They just bring me so much joy. I think there's so many like hidden details on these covers that I just love. So yeah, I, I mean, I would always recommend you read Strange Case of the Alchemist's Daughter because it is one of my favorite books ever. But um, I feel like how beautiful the covers are should just be an added incentive. Okay, and then I think we only have one more collection of books and that is my editions. What editions are these? Oh, these are the vintage classic editions. I have of Emma by Jane Austen and I have of Mansfield Park by Jane Austen. Um, I also have Pride and Prejudice in these editions, but that is wrapped up as well. So I can only show you these two. These were gifted to me by a lovely subscriber. And I just, I just think these are so gorgeous. They make me want to read the classics even more, even though I'm only just getting out of like a five month reading slump. So like, let me give myself some space before we think about tackling these. But I, I'm kind of in the mood. Like I'm kind of in the mood for Miss Jane Austen. Miss Jane Austen, She's a special one. <laughs> I just love kind of how abstract these illustrations are. I just think they're absolutely gorgeous and bring something really different to the design of classics. Cause I think often classics can kind of look, if they're not special editions, they can look a certain way. <laughs> But I just think these are so gorgeous and different and unique. Now we're going to get into just like individual book covers that I love. I probably shouldn't have pulled this many books, but you know what? I love covers. Also, you'll probably see a theme. I really love hardbacks. I am a hardback girl at heart. I just loved how they feel and I love how they look even more. I think they just look bougier. So next is my special edition of The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. This is again the water sewing special edition. I always love the special editions they, of, they do of books. I have quite a few of them. This one, the cover is beautiful and then we have these gold sprayed edges which are absolutely gorgeous. I believe these end papers are unique to the special edition but I may be wrong on that. And then on the inside, oh my Come on! Just this beautiful like foil design of Addy under the tree on the inside. This is also signed, which we love. I think Vengeful by V.E. Schwab was one of the first signed books I ever owned as well. I'm a sucker for gold sprayed edges. I think all sprayed edges should be gold. I just love how they look. And yeah, I just think it's a beautiful edition with all the different like unique little bits that it has. Let's show you another Waterstone special edition. I showed this on my channel recently. I read it in a reading vlog recently. And that is The Devil and the 
the dark water. I like this cover, like I really enjoy it, but this is I think my favorite sprayed edges on any book, this wave pattern and design on the sprayed edges. I just think it's so unique. I've never seen anything like it. So that is why this makes it onto my most beautiful books because I just think that, that sprayed edge is like so detailed, like it's got all these tiny dots to make up the shape of the waves and I just love it. I also really love the cover. Like I just think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous book. But those, are, I think these are my favorite sprayed edges that I own. Or another one that will compete with that for sprayed edges. I don't think, I don't know if this is the Waterstone Special Edition, but The Girl in the Walls by AJ Ganuse. I love this cover. I think she looks very good in this. That's a beautiful, very flattering shot. I read up on how this cover was made. So this is actually like a 3D paper set that was made with each of these, each of the kind of elements spaced out against one another. So like each a, a distance apart. And then when you look at them head on, it creates this dimension to the cover. I just love this cover. I know I need to take my stickers off. I'm sorry. I, I just, I'm, I live in fear of not taking them off, right? And so I just don't do it. I just pretend they're not there. <laughs> Wishful thinking. Yeah. You're a dreamer. You dream a lot in your no, sleep. No. But this also has beautiful sprayed edges in the design of the wallpaper in the house. I just love, I love sprayed edges that continue the design from the front cover, like this one, like the Devil in the Dark Water did as well. I think it always ties in so well. So yeah, I just love knowing the story behind this cover and how it was made and um, yeah, I just love it. And look at like the wallpaper tear on the back for the blurb. I think it's so unique. One that I just hauled, a few of these I just hauled actually in my book haul that I posted this week, but this has quickly become one of my favorite books that I own. And it is Circus of Wonders by Elizabeth McNeil. This is the Waterstone signed exclusive edition. <laughs> what can I say? Me and Waterstones. <laughs> I just love this. I just, again, you can, you can see the kind of aesthetic that I love. I feel like this is also in like the Night Circus and Strange Case of the Alchemist Daughter, this ornate vintage Victorian-y style of, of book cover. I love the end papers on this. I feel like this is some of my favorite end papers I've ever seen. I love this design. And then we have this beautiful, absolutely beautiful foil on the hardcover itself. And it's, I love like the delicacy of these lines hanging down because she's kind of like a trapeze artist, I think the main character in this book. And I love the delicacy of the lines hanging down and how detailed all of this foil is. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. This is like quickly become one of my favorite books. I think this is one of the most beautiful books I own. I just love how dainty and delicate and ornate all the different elements of this book are. I almost didn't put this one on the list, but I had to. It kind of has similar vibes to those covers I was talking about. And it is Marion Lane and the Midnight Murder, another one which I just hoard. I just love this cover. Like, you can't talk to me. I love, I think I love like deep colored covers with ornate designs on them. I love little motifs on covers, like all these like daggers and poison bottles and stuff. I just think it's absolutely gorgeous with the foil and the blue. This cover has drawn me into this book. I have spent much, before I bought this, I spent a lot of time staring at the front cover wondering if I was gonna buy it. <laughs> this is probably one of my favorite contemporary covers that I own, which is Fat Chance Charlie Vega by Crystal Maldonado. I just think like the peach with the gold foil is absolutely gorgeous. I need to stop saying that because obviously I think these are all gorgeous. Like, shut up. I hate her, I tell you now. But I love how like joyful this cover looks and bright and fun and kind of vintagey again. It always looks like 70s with the gold and the peach. I feel like it looks kind of like uh, retro. I just wanted to show this cover. I just wanted to show it. I just wanted to show it because I really, really love it. And again, this was one that I bought I love the cover. <laughs> One of my favorite paperback covers that I own is You Must Not Miss by Katrina Leno. I absolutely love this book and I love this design. I love how it captures the anger in this book and also the surrealism and strangeness and fabulism in this book. I've spent a lot of time staring at it. It's generally one of my favorite covers ever. I just think it's absolutely amazing. I want the, I, I want the, the designer of this cover to design any book I write in the future. <laughs> 
because I just absolutely love it. I think it's so unique. I really like unique covers and I think it's so different. I also love Horrid by Katrina Leno. I haven't read this yet. I don't know if you would term this, I mean, I would term this beautiful, but I feel like when I think of beautiful, I think of more of those like ornate covers. And this is like a cool cover. This is like really fucking cool and like unique and different. I love the flowers in the eyes and the flowers all around. I think it's like a real haunting cover, which also this last one is as well. I can't put my hands on why I love this cover so much, but it's Drowned Country by Emily Tesh. This is the sequel to Silver in the Wood, which is also gorgeous, but there's something about this cover. Don't ask me what, because I can't tell you, but I think it's just so cool and different and haunting and I don't know. I just love it. It's like this cathedral, abandoned like cathedral almost, with like this deep root under the sea or the swamp. And I just kind of, I don't know why I love it so much, but I just think it's such a cool, dope cover. So that's definitely one of my favorite books just because um, how different the cover is. And it's always just like elicited this feeling from me that I don't really understand. <laughs> so there we have it. That is all of what I would class as my most beautiful books or my favorite books. Um, I'm really lucky to have so many different special editions of stuff. And I just think it's really fun to collect some of these. Um, and yeah, I thought it'd be just fun to share that with you. Let me know down below uh, what some of the most beautiful books you own are. I would love to know. And if you've gotten to the end, comment the heart eyes emoji. And yeah, I will see you very, very soon in another video. Bye.